He knew it was a witch, and he knew that something bad might happen. And the witch is very nervous of the of the dogs, you know, you know the witch hunter's dogs. And she asked him to tether. Yeah, she asked him to tether his dogs so that they won't attack her. But he only he quietens the dogs down, but he only pretends to tether his dogs. He he leaves them free, quietens them down. And as the as the cat sits by the fire, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and turns into an old woman, you know. And he knows that this old woman, this witch, is going to attack him. So he's ready for it. Sure enough, she does. And of course, the dogs try to defend uh, their owner. And the witch ends up getting quite badly savaged by the dogs and she runs off into the storm. Now, the following day, uh, the witch hunter goes home to his wife and he tells her all about uh, this encounter with the witch. And his wife is a nurse and she says, you're joking, the old woman of Lagan, I was just round there this afternoon, she's got horrible bite wounds, you know, she said she was attacked by a wolf. And they put two and two together and, and they kind of think, well maybe the old woman of Lagan is the witch. So they go around to confront her. She's on her deathbed. Um, she has been savaged so badly by the dogs. Her wounds are infected. She's got a fever. <laughs> she's, she's on her last legs, as it were. And they challenge her, asking her if she is the witch. And she confesses. Um,